What's better than this? Just guys being dudes. Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Matty F, baby, and we're back here to go over some more Tempest Cup battles, and we are doing about seven battles, and three of them are really close. At least two, I think about three, maybe four, two or three of them are really super close, like really down to the wire, one more tap and it goes the other way, so stick around for that. We're going to chat real quick. If you don't want to chat, go right here, and that's where the battles start, and we'll see you there, but yeah. So I've been thinking like a lot about what to do lately and I know I kind of you know I was considering you know becoming a twitch thought you know you know um kind of using my my ass oh sorry it's not enough um using my assets you know but no JK but anyways shout, shout out to twitch thoughts and gamer girls and I'm, I'm definitely I am I am I've always been a twitch thought ever since I got on twitch I've always been kind of kind of thoughty over there <laughs> anyways um yeah but wizards unite's coming out soon ish but big news for wizards unite today and i already made like a little side account channel for brawl stars but i considered making a channel for wizards unite um called you're a wizard maddie <laughs> you're a wizard maddie um just because you know the way YouTube works, it kind of wants you to do one thing to for the algorithm to feed to, to feed you the most and be the nicest to you. So that's all I want to know is, guys, um, do you guys want to watch Wizards Unite? How many people will watch Wizards Unite with me because they like Wizards Unite? Would you watch it just to do me that favor once or twice a week? Would you be like, oh, I can watch a six-minute video for Maddie, help him out, you know what I'm saying? So let me know because, you know, I like Wizards Unite, and so I'm definitely going to be covering it, but the question is, you're a wizard, Maddie, its own channel, or Maddie F. Baby covering it? I mean, it's the same anyways, but, but I mean, the difference is, like, you know, I would be one channel for it, and that would help in certain ways, or it'd just be all focused on one thing. But the difference of having on the Maddie channel is that it's already got a bigger, um, bigger base at the start. So that the negative there would be that it's splitting between Pogo and, and Wizards Unite. But could be worth it when Wizards Unite comes out to do it on that channel, to do it on this channel instead of the a new one. So kind of curious about that, about your opinions, about how excited you are for Wizards Unite, and if you would watch it because you wanted to, or if you'd even watch it just to help me out every once in a while. So yeah, let me know about that. Let's go watch Tempest Cup. Thank you. Alright, here we go. We have Lantern versus Lapras, and we're gonna be water gunning away at that Lapras, and that Lapras is gonna be water gunning away at us as well. And so we're gonna be like, here's a thunderbolt for you, Lapras, and Lapras is like, I don't want that. That's really gonna hurt. It's gonna be super effective, but I'm kind of tanky anyways, but still don't want to see it. So now he brings in the Quagsire. We bust out the Skarmory, looking for a Stone Edge there, we're thinking, so we go ahead and block that thing. And here comes the Stone Edge this time. He hit us with an Earthquake the first time. Here comes our Sky Attack. There you go, Mr. Quagsire. We got that coming for you. We're gonna go ahead and block this Stone Edge again, and go ahead and try to take down the Quagsire. It's now zero shields to zero shields. We get the Quagsire, we don't farm, energy before going into the next battle very much at all because we do not want to get caught slipping caught being too cute or too greedy on that quagsire and have another stone edge come our way it's just not what we want to do we just don't want that right and so all right and now it's gonna be lapras versus steelix again and so he's gonna surf us we're like what the heck that is really gonna hurt us. It's super effective, right? And so we're like, well, we're just gonna crunch back at you if that's how you wanna be. And then, so we bring in our Lancer, who's still got a Thunderbolt cut out, and we're like, well, we better get that off. And he's almost got enough for another one. So then here comes the Altaria, and look at how close it is. One more hit. Look at that thing. One more hit. And here, we're running it back real quick. See, look at how close he is to dying. One more hit, look at that. He's almost dead, and the Altera is almost, look at that, that's crazy. All right, so Dozer coming out with the Lantern strong. We're like, 
let's bring our guy Skarmory at him. And we're like trying to switch real quick, but it's like, heck nah, you can't switch. I think I was trying to switch. I gotta go then wait a second to see. But anyways, we know that it's not gonna be very effective. Yeah, we were trying to switch into our CDO. So there we go. We're body slamming him. We're like, get away from, from my friends. You're gonna, you're gonna wall out both my friends. We, you're not gonna wall out, you're gonna go and heck and destroy both my friends, my Steelix and my Skarmory. And I don't want you to destroy my friends, so I bring in my Sealy bro. And yeah, we're gonna go and uh, watch your ears right there in the past, go back in time and watch your ears. But we, we're gonna go out there, and yeah, we're gonna go and get the Lantern done. He's gonna bring in the Steelix. We're gonna go ahead and try to get the Aurora Beam off, thinking that he's gonna be expecting a Body Slam, and hopefully he doesn't shield it, and he doesn't. So then we come with the Body Slam, and this time we're hoping he would shield it, but he doesn't. So dang, hoping to hit him with a, some nice shield work right there by, by baiting not a shield, and then baiting a shield, you know what I'm saying? By pulling an okie doke thinking you know here comes a body slam but really ice beam aurora beam but anyways he's got man time versus the steelix man teen i need to stop saying man time and growl life just for fun it's just fun to say and to say it that way he's gonna block our crunch we're like heck friend we needed to crunch you there and so we're getting a crunch off after the ice beam that's gonna hurt us of course and we get one crunch off hoping to get a second one off or another one off which we do it's gonna go ahead and finish off the Mantine. Now it's Steelix v Steelix. He's gonna crunch us down real fast. And it's Skarmory for Steelix. And we all know Steelix is a great um, Skarmory wall. I'm thinking, should I save up for the Flash Cannon? But I wanna get the Sky Attack off. And yeah, and now he's got, yeah, we finish it off. So now we got Whiskash versus Alteria. And so we bring in our Skarmory, and maybe I should have stayed with my Whiskash there and just tried to farm up and, and pull an Okie Doke and hit him with a Blizzard, you know, have him expect a Mud Bomb, you know. But anyways, and now it's going to be Lantern v Skarmory, so not a very good position for us at all because we switched first, he gets to pull out the um, counter first. We decide just to let him take down the Skarmory, and then we were planning to bring in our Obama Snow and finish off the Lantern, hopefully farm up enough to have an Outrage ready to go for this Altaria, but that is not the case at all. And you really can't get to that Outrage, which I'd uh, very often, and a lot of his charge moves, I mean, I guess it'd probably be the same with the Energy Ball and definitely with the Blizzard or whatever, um, but it really is hard for, to get to that Outrage sometimes, like when I've been trying to play with the Obama Snow, because I haven't played with it too, too much. So yeah, that's something I have been learning, which I had heard before. Anyways, he's now got one shield. We got, we got uh, no Protect Shields. He's gonna go ahead and Dragon Pulse us. We just go for the Mud Bomb, even though we have the Blizzard ready, because he's got a Pokemon left still, and he's got a shield still. So we're like, he's gonna shield the Blizzard, and we just wanted to get another Mud, we just wanted to get another Mud Bomb off before we went down. Mantine versus Whiskash. We go out with the Whiskash again, thinking, man, I just wanna try to get a win with the Whiskash. I had him on my team at six, um, and yeah, pretty sure, yeah, anyways. I was gonna say something that I was pretty sure of, but I wasn't actually. So anyways, we go ahead and get the blizzard out. And yeah, we we're thinking he was gonna expect a mud bomb. Um, so we went for the blizzard and then went for the mud bomb the second time. So kind of like the same thing we did the first time, hitting him with the hard move first, um, expecting him to let it pass, um, let it pass, um, expecting a, a, a softer hitting move that he can resist and stuff. So um, worked out and to where he didn't actually shield the one that we didn't want him to shield. Hope that all made sense. Uh, but yeah, we didn't want him to shield the first one. We wanted him to shield the second one. So, and it worked out. We're gonna like, take down the Mantine with our guy, the Steelix. Oh, sorry, I keep forgetting. Um, with our guy, the Steelix, and it's gonna be Tropius versus Steelix. And this is a Headbangers Ball. It's the Headbangers Ball. There's a bunch of Headbangers Balls in this tournament. Oh, anyway, so now we're in a poo poo um, spot. We got Obama Snow going up against Atropius, and that's going to be a RIP, 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 RIP. So yeah, now we're um, we're playing five games with Dozer. We weren't really saying it's best of five. We we're just going to play five. But so it's one two. Um, he I won the first one. He won the second two. So now this is a great uh, start for us. We got Lancer versus Steelix, and we got the Water Gun on our on our Lantern, which is, that's like the main reason I like the Water Gun, is like that matchup in particular, like, I, I, I want to try out the, uh, 
the charge beam for the extra energy. Um, but it's just like that Steelix matchup, that water gun. And there's other matchups too. But anyways, but I want the extra energy gain of the of the charge beam. So Alteria versus Skarmory, we decide to use one of our shields. He does not use any. We have a sky attack going off against the lantern, which we know is not gonna do Jackola. So right here we're gonna farm up a little bit and get a sky attack off before we die and not very effective again but we got a, a shield down and now we're gonna bring out our lantern straight into the thunderbolt ready to roll um, to see if he uses his uh, last shield which he does not we decide not to as well and um, we're gonna get to our thunderbolt again before he does and we just decide to go in get him to use his last um, shield now. So now we're in a not so great spot. This is the opposite of what happened at the beginning. I'm really worried about a Hydro Pump here, which would totally ruin the game if I don't shield there. And it's a Hydro Pump, but I'm expecting um, the, the Thunderbolt, and it was. So good not shield there, but I could lose a game like that. Um, yeah, and, yeah, I could have lost the game right there if he had enough energy for Hydro Pump, but I didn't think he did, so I went with it. So anyways, we have, um, Body Slam Bro versus Alteria. He's gonna come in with the Lantern, which we're like, we're just gonna keep slamming away, um, yeah, on the Lantern and just try to get as much chip damage, maybe get a shield gone, um, shield gone, and then I think we're gonna go ahead and let ourselves die off this first one no we do not just kidding we're like let's go ahead and block this and get another body slam off yeah that's right because we're like we can get to another body slam off and we're gonna go ahead and get the lantern down there so now we're down a shield but up massively in hp and energy as well so we're gonna go and try to get an aurora beam off here just thinking maybe he will keep not using his shields and expect another body slam but he does not um do that he does use this shield good call there so i was not body slamming so um, he's gonna go ahead and flash cannon. We of course bring in our Steelix on the Skarmory because that's a you know a great wall. The great wall of Skarmory is Steelix. Um, so we're headbanging. He's over there barrel rolling. It's the headbanger versus the barrel roll. I love the Skarmory's barrel roll by the way. I've never mentioned it. It's so cool. He like does a little barrel roll. Um, so he's barrel rolling. We're headbanging. Um, we got no shields left, but do we need them? Not against the Skarmory and. We're going to go ahead and get the crunch. We do have enough energy for the earthquake, but, you know, obviously we don't need to do that. Um, it's resisted anyways, and it's so low, so low in HP. Um, anyways, um, brings in the Altaria to finish off our Steelix. I don't think I have enough to get the other crunch off. Um, Might have been close. And then we get to our Sky Attack. He's going to get to his Sky Attack. Oh, yeah, he goes for the Dragon Pulse, which, um, yeah, neither of those moves are going gonna to hurt us. And, yeah. Very close, very close round of round of matches. I hope y'all enjoyed these Tempest Cup matches. Let me know about the Wizards Unite. Yeah, some pretty freaking close matches. That first one that I showed against True was an HP. There was two against Dozer um, that was just coming down to whoever got that last charge move was gonna win. And two of them, he did wreck me up pretty badly though. But yeah, a really close uh, five game series uh, that we barely squeaked out three wins. Uh, if you got super lucky there. Definitely got wrecked both games. I tried using Obama Snow, I feel like. I feel like I can't use Obama Snow very well. Maybe it's just me. But hope you all enjoyed it again. Let me know about the Wizard Unite. Subscribe if you're new. And let's get ready for my cup. It's this Sunday. Wish me luck. I'm not anxious and nervous. I'm, I'm, I'm brimming with confidence. <laughs>